Welcome back to my channel. My name's Kaylee. If you're new here, I am just sipping on an Americano that my good old Breville coffee maker made me. It's a game changer. It's really it's changed my life. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top five meal prep tips that hopefully will make your life a whole lot rude, will make your life a whole lot easier and hopefully help you out a little bit. First tip on meal prepping, you have to plan out your meals. The goal in meal prepping is you need to maximize your time in the kitchen. So you want to be meal prepping for the least amount of time as possible. What's going to help you out with that is planning out your meals and listing all of your meals that you're going to have throughout the week. So say Monday is burgers, Tuesday is street tacos, Wednesdays are Buddha bowls, and Thursdays are gonna be whatever you want. Doing this has helped me out a lot, especially with time management and just helping things go a lot quicker and smoother when I go to meal prep all of my foods. The second tip that I have for you is you have to pick versatile ingredients. That means things that will work in multiple different meals. An example of this would be quinoa or rice. You can put rice in tacos, you can also put it in Buddha bowls, and you can put it with like a side to maybe chicken thighs or something like that. This is gonna help you because you don't have to make multiple different grains. You can have quinoa throughout the week, but in just different formats. It's not, you're not just gonna be eating plain quinoa all week long. It's it's in a Buddha bowl and on your tacos. So it's gonna taste a lot different. When you go to prep all your foods, you can add different seasonings to it and everything like that. My third tip that I have for you guys is gonna be go to the grocery store once a week. Not twice, not three times once a week. Make sure that you have a prepared list with you. Make sure that you've planned out all of your meals so you know exactly what you need from the store to maximize your time in the store. And keep in mind that you don't have to go shopping the same day that you are going to meal prep. That's a lot of work. I personally don't even do that. I would recommend going shopping on maybe a Saturday morning or a Sunday night and then prepping the next day or the next morning, depending on what your schedule looks like that week or something like that. I like to go on weekdays or like during the night when it's not super busy. That way people are in my way. I don't have to wait in long lines. It's not too crowded. All right, my fourth tip that I have for you guys today is keep in mind when you are meal prepping the cooking time. So say you are going to make rice, beef, you have chicken, and you're going to make some vegetables. Whatever food is going to take you the absolute longest to make, you need to start your meal prepping in the kitchen with that ingredient. So say you need to marinate your chicken for 30 minutes before you even cook it. Start with prepping your chicken. That way you can cook all of the other stuff while your chicken is marinating or while it's cooking. Because then while your meat is marinating or your rice is in the rice cooker for 40 minutes, you can be chopping those vegetables and washing all of those fruits and veggies. It's going to make the process a whole lot easier and it's going to take up less time. And my fifth and final tip for you guys is going to be to use your freezer. I know a lot of people just kind of when food goes bad, they just toss it away or their fruit's going to go bad so they just toss it in the garbage. You're wasting food. It drives me insane. My number one pet peeve is when people waste food. So what I do to make sure that I'm not wasting anything is if I know something's going to go bad, I'll cook it and then I'll throw it in my freezer. That way, if I know I'm going to get home late at night, I'll just, I'll take it out of the freezer and I'll put it in the fridge for the day. That way when I get home, it's just ready to be heated up and I'm ready to go. I have my dinner. It's going to be a great time saver. It reduces waste that you have in your household and it's very budget friendly an example of this would be like if you if you made like a broth you have fresh bread tomato sauce or you made enchiladas or something like that when you're grocery shopping buy a couple loaves of bread and stick two of them in the freezer and then have one ready to go that way when you go to the grocery store next you don't have to worry about getting so many different items you can just get the fresh produce and stock up on that it saves you a lot of time I promise and 
and it's very good because it's the freezer things stay good in there for like six months so if you live by yourself it's also a great thing because then you can make like 10 breakfast sandwiches and whenever you're in a rush grab one out of the freezer and you're ready to go it's the easiest thing and I don't know why not a lot of people use it. All right guys, so that is my five tips for meal prepping. Hopefully you guys found this useful and it was helpful for you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps me out and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!